Tesla increases Model S X prices, but adds three years of free. Su- what can these guys? What man? They, they keep switching. Mega in experimentation going on here. What the hell do I want that for? I I hardly ever supercharge. I rather take it for less. I guess if you're like it's a really specific scenario for someone. Maybe they don't have like a home charger. Maybe they live in a condo. No, no, I use it, but I'm just saying if you were going to give me a lesser price, because it doesn't cost that much. It doesn't, right? yeah. typically. And it kind of damages your vehicle if you keep using it a uh, lot. Well, I mean, it depends how long you plan on holding. Did you ever consider that? Hmm. Like now that you have an electric vehicle, did you ever consider how long you would hold on to it for? Yeah, for sure. Especially, because I don't think most people expect to hold on to them for as long as you might have with a gas car. Uh huh. Like you start to worry about certain. I I, I don't know. Maybe I'm well, wrong. The battery aspect. That's what I'm saying. So maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like you would be trying to swap that eventually for another one. And so like I I get warnings for charging it too uh, too much. Mm-hmm. You know how it's like wait long term battery health or whatever. And then I'm sitting there thinking. How long am I even going to have this thing for? I'd rather have the kilometers on this next trip I'm about to take. Right. You know, it says for daily charging, don't go above a particular limit, right? And maybe in some some circumstances, I have unpredictable places to be. And I'm just like, I just want to have those extra 50, 50 kilometers right now. And so I have a tendency of just wanting to go to the max, even against the recommendation knowing full well that I'll just trade that I'll be trading that car before that life cycle anyway. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is a a different angle to take and they keep playing around with these numbers here. Let's see what we're got now. The flagship sedan was 85 and the SUV was 95. Now overnight update, the price goes up $2,500, but comes with three years of free supercharging, received three years of unlimited free supercharging with the purchase of a new model S or X. Is that globally? Is that in the U.S. only? That's curious. The increase applies to both. You know what else is interesting about this is this is after the supercharger network opens up to all cars. So it's the least valuable that that it's ever been. Yeah. The automaker claimed it was due to a large number of those vehicles being in transit to Europe and Asia. Uh, if Tesla needs demand for Model S and X, how about actually getting them into some more markets? It's been three and a half years since they were available for sale in the UK and many other countries. Deliveries were originally promised for December. You can't get them in the UK right now? Hmm. Listen, I don't know what what those restrictions or stipulations are. Oh, that's why you have the business leases or whatever it was in the UK. They got some weird rules going on over there. (laughs) Huh. Yeah, price goes up, price goes down. Let's tweak this incentive. It's like... eh, it reminds me of you trying to come up with a thumbnail and a title. Well, you're like, I don't know. Let's try this. Let's try that. What if we incentivize this instead of that? What if we take 2500 more? What if we take 2500 less? It's um, It sucks for the customer because they have to really look into <laughs> what the latest update is, especially if it's changing on a weekly basis. And then watch it after they actually bought it because they're like, yeah. What are you going to do next, dude? Uh, you're going to take five grand off? I'm going to have to call you up and go, hey, I don't even have my car yet, and you took five grand off. Mm-hmm. Like, that kind of happened to you, more, sort of. Yeah. Yeah, I got a little screwed over. You got a little shafted. I don't know. At the end of the day, I feel like it's still a very lean company that's, like, trying to experiment with, like, really different formulas. Whether or not they're going to be successful, um, it appears that they're doing well though. I don't I don't know I don't necessarily know that it's a bad thing maybe maybe that's what they should be doing trying to find that sweet spot and maybe they shouldn't be afraid to experiment for but sure. at the same time you're gonna some people can get irritated depending where they land and w- on which experiment mm-hmm. 